Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is just slide this behind the hole now and get that collar all the way around. And then I'm just going to fold these down for now. these ones let's just fold them all in All right, so that's nice and tight on there.
now I just got to bend that down. So I got to go get a pair of pliers to bend that. All right, so then I'm just going to take this. And I'm just going to bend it. Right. Oh, let me get this out of the way. It's right there, that should be about the right size. Fold that over. Fold this one over. I'm going to see if that fits inside. Yeah, me or Careful on that. Those things are sharp, okay? I know, I'm aware. Do you want me to circle? Yep. Okay. I'm going to circle them. If you have any kids around, when you cut these, make sure that they're not near them. Oh, just throw it in the back of the truck. That's where all the scrap metal is going. Inside of that bucket. All right, so I slid that just underneath there. That's going to provide some good strength right there. And I'm putting a strap right here that's going to hold the stack up. So what I'm going to do is I got a small drill bit here. And I'm going to hold this as tight as I can. Pull this strap down as far as I can get it. And I'm going to mark the metal. And I'm going to drill my hole just slightly below that spot. So now it doesn't quite line up. Push it up. So it does. And then we're going to put one of the screws that came with the dryer into that hole. That made that much more sturdy. So I'm just going to pull it out for a sec. Ernie! Yeah. Get the camera!
All right, guys. So there we go. Oh, let me go get the. Uh, let me go get the stove pipe to put on this, and then we'll uh, get the pans, fill them with water, and we'll do a test burn and see how it works. And actually, Odie must have knew I was going to need the uh, stove pipe because she's bringing it over. That's all right. I we're gonna, this was a level. We're going to call it level. I'm going to slide the stove pipe on. Hey, Daddy, this is now my working glove. We could reinflate these again to, to Brian. Because these are what we tried to replace your as well with. Let me go get the stove pipe to put on this. And then we'll uh, get the pans, fill them with water, and we'll do a test burn and see how it works. And actually, Odie must have knew I was going to need the uh, stove pipe because she's bringing it over. I can't find the level. That's all right. I we're thought gonna, this was the level. We're going to call it level. I'm going to slide the stove pipe on. Hey, Daddy, this is now my working glove. We could reinflate these again to, to Brian. Because these are what we tried to replace your as well with. I think she's home right now, so we can't go after so we have some buckets right behind you guys, um, and Izzy and I are going to go check those right now. So let's go check those. In mine we have about a foot, and in hers we have we about, about one quart, I, nah, I would say, yeah, you a quart. Some of these chairs and blocks the thing off. I would say a quart. Can you help me? So, right now we're actually going to make um, a fence so the chickens don't get over here while we're boiling. Um, um, we just don't want them to get hurt or anything. So if you got chickens and you're doing this in your backyard, um, um, you should probably block it from your chickens because if there's a small enough hole in it, they could fit through it. and. You don't really want them to get burnt or anything because then they're going to turn into fried chicken. You don't want them to get burnt? What do you want them to do? What do you want them to do? Go get me some more paper then. Stuff to you that I can burn. Okay. So I'll help her. Wait, can I go get some, like, uh, some normal paper? Alright guys, so this is this is going to be a test burn. So alright guys, so this is going to be a test burn. So I'm just gonna put water in these pans for now. Alright, so I just got water in there, and now we're going to go ahead and start the fire. Hopefully I can get it going. I just do it that way.
All right, guys. So as you can see, most of the most of the smoke is coming out of the smokestack. So we are getting good draft up out of there. We can roast marshmallows. Um, one of the things I'm going to have to do is right here, you got a big gap. It's allowing a lot of smoke out. So what I'm going to do is I'll do the same thing I did with the uh, on the inside. I'll just tack weld one screw right there. And then the same thing on this side, we'll tack weld that down up against it as well. And that will seal the back a little bit more. Other than that, I think that's working out pretty good. Well guys, um, as you can see, proof of concept is working pretty well. We're just trying to burn off some of the paint. You can see the discoloration happening here. here yeah. It's super, like, not that bad. We're able to control the airflow with the door just by leaving it open a little bit or we can stick a stick in. And that's helping to control the flame. And if we actually really showed you over here, you could actually see the tea is actually really coming off. Like it's turning brownish and it it looks like we painted it a new color almost. You can see that the uh, discoloration is happening with the paint. Um, it's very hard. I don't know if you can see it on the in the camera, but the steam is coming off of the water, so it is evaporating down. Um, for the most part, over here is burnt a lot too. For the most part, the steam is coming out of the uh, the stack, or well, not the steam, but the smoke. As long as we we're controlling the flame, what I'm probably going to do just to help this out a little bit is I'm going to put a plate right here over over the uh, vent there, and that will help. Um, the smoke from coming out the back as much as it has been. But for the most part, you can see it's it's working pretty good. The, the door does not get too hot, so that's a good thing. Um, we just gotta keep the flame going and keep it going. All right, guys, again, now that you can see it's working pretty good, you can see it works pretty good, so I'm actually pretty happy with this setup. Um, probably on Sunday, we're going to boil down the rest of the sap we have. Um, so we thank you guys for coming along with us, and you guys have a great day. Remember to click that subscribe button if you like what we're doing. Odie?
to say anything? Um, make sure to hit... No, I mean hit the camera. Make sure to hit the bell. If you haven't, what are you doing right now? <laughs> All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye.